What's going on everybody? So I talked about the rain sensing wipers briefly in my super fun Tesla software update video I did last week, but I want to make this a video of its own. It's something I've talked about uh, in the past through various videos, through autopilot videos, through my 10,000 kilometer review video. Um, this was also made the list for the top 10 uh, requested improvements or features for a Tesla. So Elon Musk put out a tweet and said, hey, what do you guys want to see? And this was like one of the most hearted uh, responses, which was fixing the rain sensing wipers. So uh, we got this tweet here that said, hey, is there any chance you can explain how the auto wiper mode works? Where is the sensor? Uh, Tesla did not opt for a sensor. So in most cars, they have a sensor for auto wiping and the sensor will detect the rain and then your wipers will go off and uh, wipe. Uh, Tesla actually uses the camera as not a sensor. And I think the reason for that is to save a little bit of money. So to include a sensor in every car has a certain cost to it, whereas the cameras are gonna be included anyway for autopilot and uh, sooner or later full self-driving where they can utilize the cameras to uh, act like a sensor. So the camera will pick up water on the uh, windshield or snow on the windshield and it'll wipe accordingly. So there actually is no sensor. Uh, what I find interesting in his tweet though, and it's his follow-up statement is, I find it po very poor in heavy rain and have to constantly switch to manual, which is inconvenient. Uh, I have the opposite problem. So in heavy rain, uh, my Model 3 works great. In uh, heavy snow or a lot of snow uh, a couple of days ago, it worked fine. It's when it's really light. So there's like a light amount of water or snow hitting the windshield. I find it doesn't pick it up uh, well enough to actually wipe. So Elon Musk said, hey, a software upgrade to the rain sensing neural net is coming in the next month. So this basically means in the next month we should have an improvement to this and hopefully it'll be fixed once and for all. So Tesla's been receiving uh, information from their whole fleet of cars. They send it back to their net and uh, with the, all the data that they're receiving, they're able to send out an update to fix this problem. So uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully it is fixed once and for all. Uh, that does it for this video. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed for more Tesla videos. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.